Being out here, you can't be anywhere anywhere better than being out at sea on days like this. Put my own boat in 2000, and it's gone on from there. I think it's, it's time we looked at doing something to help, help our fishery. If you lose in pots, it's going to be a problem. We're trying to learn from experience elsewhere, both in the UK and globally, just ways of improving fishing sustainability. What we are trying is modifications on the hooks that will be anti-ghost fishing mechanisms. In the event that pots get lost, we'll have a weak link in there that will biodegrade and open up the pots. This one actually is about to go, so I'll demonstrate now. Close it up. Gone. The actual door is open now, the catch can be released. Just going to put a new one on now, that one's snapped. So the bit of string now, tie that off on the pot again. Cable tie on, back through the ring. Zip it up. Easy as that. Fishing's more of a lifestyle choice than a, than a job. If the weather's bad, I'll go surfing. I'm still at sea, you know? Yeah, you see some great stuff out there. You're also at one with the environment. Best office in the world, you know? We're trialling escape hatches to allow juvenile lobsters to escape. Undersized lobsters can escape out of the hatch. If pots do get lost, it would limit the amount of sea life being stuck in the pots, actively ghost fishing. If the pot did get lost, the hatch would open and anything entering the pot could find its way back out. In the event that pots get lost, we've got gear tagging, which is just a simple means of identifying the pots so when we get divers to return them, they get back to their rightful owners. When we dive, we, we collect a lot of different types of fishing equipment, from lobster pots to fishing nets. These pots will have codes on them so we know whose pots they are, so we can return them at no financial loss. <laughs> We have a very good working relationship with the local fishermen. When they lose their equipment, they quite often ring us up or let us know. So with their help, it just makes it more efficient. It, it's better for the fishermen that they're out. It's better for the ecosystem as well that they're out. It could be mimicked in the UK or even further afield. So I feel all fishermen have got a responsibility to look after the stocks. There's got to be something left for tomorrow. That's why these projects are good. The more people involved, they greater there's a chance for our fishery to survive. The customer likes to know more where it's caught and the traceability and, and they like to know that we're, you know, we're trying to protect and help the environment. <laughs>